Hello everybody, what is going on? How is life? I hope you all are good. I wish you were here right now so we could have a conversation and it's not just me talking to you. But I wanted to mention really quick what's on my eyes because I'm obsessed with it. Last week in the vlog, I forgot to show you my Ulta haul that I did. It's like drugstore, really small, but I'm gonna insert that here. Here's everything that I got. So I've seen this go around. It's the Moisturizing Shave Oil by Tree Hut. So I wanted to pick it up. You guys know I love Tahitian vanilla bean anyway. So I thought I would give this a try. This has been out for forever. It's the Desert Lights palette from Flower Beauty. They also have a Jungle Lights palette or something like that. It might be Jungle Nights. I want that palette as well, but I figured I would start with this. They look like metallic, shimmery, beautiful shades, but I will show you swatches at the end of everything. And I picked up three ColourPop eyeshadows. I used to love ColourPop eyeshadows and I honestly haven't used them in forever. And I couldn't remember which one was my favorite shade. I picked up Ritz, Ladybird, and Koosh. And I two came broken, which is upsetting, but at least I can still swatch them and see which one was my favorite because I don't need their whole collection again like I had in the past. I just want the one favorite that I had. And then lastly, I picked up one thing from Rem Beauty. This is Ariana Grande's line and nothing really spoke to me except this. This was really the only unique thing that I saw. It's an eyeshadow, but it's just like a purpley, browny, blue sort of shade that looks super unique. So I'll do some swatches right now. These feel so buttery. Here are all the shades from this Desert's Night palette right here. They went on so buttery and I love the shades. I think they'll be really pretty for summer. So here's the swatches. The one on the left is Fembot by Ariana Grande. That took me like three swipes to get it to be that pigmented. I was swirling the wand in here and this felt like empty. It was really weird, but it is a pretty color. The next one is Ritz, then Ladybird, and then Koosh, I think the name is. I honestly can't remember which one I used to love. These all are kind of different. So. You guys know the general theme of things that I love is something that gives you like a glittery top coat on your lid. I love sparkle. It's one of my favorites. And sorry the lighting's so weird. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, fun little haul to start out the vlog. So from that haul, I'm trying this on right now. It is Fembot. It's literally the only thing from the line that looked interesting. And so I'm wearing it and it's gorgeous. So it was starting to irritate my eyes a little bit though. And I was like, what the heck? So I looked at the formula again and there is talc in this. And I'm 100% certain now that talc is actually an irritant for my eyes personally. But if talc doesn't bother you, look at how beautiful this is. Don't mind my nails, I had to take them off. But this is so beautiful, it's on my eyes right now. I think it pulls more purple on my eyes and it's more iridescent in the tube, but I had to share that because it's gorgeous. I am doing much better than in my last vlog. So a day after I did that vlog, I got my period <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's why she was so emotional. But it's okay, I'm thriving now. I mean, I'm on my period, so I'm not thriving, but you know, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. I have some more makeup to show you because later in this vlog, we are going to be organizing my makeup. So really quick chit chat for just a quick second. I got some Kylie stuff. She came out with some new palettes. I always feel weird talking about the Kardashians because they are polarizing and not for good things, but look at this palette. This is so me, so obviously I had to get it. And then this one also, really me. This pink shade is like, I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. And then you can sheer it out to get more of the gold. Look at that. Isn't that intense? <sighs> so pretty. And I haven't tried her stuff in so long and she has some affordable options, which is why I wanted to try them out in case they were fire and I could recommend them. So I got, got a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter just to try out. So pretty. I'm wearing all these today plus the one thing from Rem and they're gorgeous. Absolutely love them. Shockingly really good quality and clean formula. So if you don't mind spending money on Kardashian Jenner products, these are really good. But anyway, I have been kind of outgrowing my vanity as far as makeup organization and in my last apartment, we just didn't have room for anything extra. So I stopped buying new makeup. I mean, I got a few new releases. I did do like a little birthday haul from Sephora, but I kind of stopped shopping in my last apartment just because we didn't have the space for extra things but we have more space in this apartment and then the next space that we get i'm gonna have my own office so anyway long story short it's fine if i have a little bit of a bigger makeup collection right now so not that my collection is big but whatever you guys understand so i just got this system from ikea i just ordered it it is the alex six drawer it's like the wide one 
and I've had the Alex Nine Door in the past and I like didn't really want to get the Ikea ones just because they look like everybody has the Ikea stuff and not that I have to be different and edgy and cool but you know I like unique things I like things to look a little bit more like have character and stuff because my let me show you my furniture my foundation exploded on my desk today so excuse it but yeah like this has so much character and I kind of want my makeup organization to have character too, but it's not, and that's fine. I'm going to be putting the drawers, like, right here so I can easily grab for makeup. I'm going to be putting my makeup brushes in here. And then this is going to be makeup tools, like tweezers, hair clips, my little fan, and then the other tools that I have. And I got foundation on this when it exploded. This was the one that exploded on me. It was so weird. This never happened to me before. It just went everywhere. It got all over that shirt that is right there. Anyway, have I said anything that's even been going down? I had my full work day today and then I filmed that organizational video. I wanna start editing it tonight to see how much footage I have in case I have to put the makeup organization into that video because I try to make my videos at least 10 minutes. I feel like anything less than that just isn't a juicy video filled with content and fun things. Under 10 minutes is so short for if I'm only posting two times a week. But thank you guys so much for letting me take Sunday off. I was so upset at first about losing my streak, but then I was like, you know what? I felt so great not spending my entire Saturday filming and editing because that's what I do every weekend on Saturdays. And Wednesdays are like my main filming days and I'm gonna be like trying to move it in the future. So I have weekends off because working and YouTube and doing everything else like all in one week, every week after week, it's so exhausting and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm actually fine, but I have some really fun makeup videos coming up. I need to finalize some stuff for my favorites video that's coming up this month as well. That's just like back end YouTube stuff. But I missed you guys. I didn't film one time and I'm like, I miss them. I need to talk to them. What's going on? We definitely need to do some cleaning in this vlog because things are getting a little messy. As always, I need to clean my desk. When do I not need to clean my desk? And also I got my hands on the Pat McGrath under eye highlighter thing that I've been trying to get for a while and it was finally in stock. So I just bit the bullet and got it. And I realized it's a little bit similar. Well, it's very similar to the NARS Radiant Powder that I got, but that's fine. We're gonna test them both out and see which one I like better. My skin is looking really glowy from here. I really like it. It's Kylie. She makes some good makeup actually, which is shocking, but I really like these. What other news do we have? I did another Old Navy haul. <laughs> <laughs> shocking yeah so i did another old navy haul is coming in so that might be in this video if i get the pieces in on time even though i said i was taking a break from fashion i need some staples i need some staples again because none of my staples fit so if i get some stuff from old navy and it fits and it looks great i will share it with you guys but i'm gonna filter it first because if i get a ton of stuff that doesn't look good i'm just gonna nix it i think i'm going to edit i need to walk the boys and I might go work out tonight. If I don't work out tonight, I'm gonna work out in the morning and I will take you guys along for that adventure as long as nobody else is in the gym. <laughs> Here is my coffee for the morning. It's a new day, by the way. <laughs> so I'm having the La Colum cold brew with the Organic Valley Sweet Cream Creamer, just a little splash. And then some of the Trani maple syrup, not maple syrup, vanilla syrup. My espresso machine is down for the count right now. I'll explain that later when I clean it. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this coffee at the moment. But I made these ice cubes and this little ice cube tray from Amazon, I think. And it makes like the, the whiskey ice cubes and it's like this huge circle. I just thought it was so cool. It was so much easier to take out than the square ice that I've been using. So I'm just gonna make another round of this and keep it going as long as I can. And then me and my coworker have to get to work. It's bright and early in the morning. It's like eight right now, I think. 8.45, I'm a little late. We already fed the boys though. I got dressed, got ready. I still need to brush my teeth and do my skincare, but at least I'm dressed. And then we will jump right into the work that I have to do for the day. I figured I would show you my breakfast really fast. I made an omelet and these are two blueberry waffles, I think, with some banana. And then I made Nick a little yogurt bowl. Good morning vlog. It is Thursday. I have therapy this morning. So I just did my skincare. And also, you know, brush my teeth, all that stuff. And now I have to jump into the appointment. I woke up late this morning. So let's go jump into the appointment. <laughs> I'm trying to log into right now. I'm probably not going to work today because typically I film on Wednesdays, but instead I worked yesterday. So I might film today because I have a few videos that I need 
to go out unless therapy is spicy and then I need to film tomorrow. And then tonight I am going to dinner with Nick that I need to get ready for. So I'm gonna jump into this appointment and I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day. Therapy is now over. It was a really good session. I have a few things I'm gonna be working on going into this next week. I'm glad because sometimes the appointments are obviously like really, really emotional, but this time it was a little bit lighter, which I think I needed. I wanted a little bit of a lighter session. I don't even know if I've shown you this yet, but I have this new makeup unit from Ikea. It is one of the wider Alex drawers and I have little organizers coming in from Amazon. I feel like you guys always see me at this view. My hair is clipped back, but I think I'm gonna organize my makeup right now into different categories. And then when we get the organizers later on, we can slide them into the unit. So I will show you me organizing right now. drawer has makeup all in it that I need to clean out but everything is organized into groups and categories and so I'm just gonna get those into the little plastic divider things and it will look really good there's some random stuff like over here that I need to take care of but we have eye stuff eyeshadow singles all the lip products all my face products setting sprays face powders blushes are back there and then highlighters are here and bronzers are here. This is an upcoming haul that I'm doing. And then all my new products are in here. Everything else will get divided into these. I'm going to get a little tripod for my phone that I can keep at my desk because I feel like I vlog here a little bit. That would be super helpful. So in the future, you won't have to see me at this angle any longer. I do want to get a palette. I want to get two palettes that are empty so I can have one for face products and one for any single eyeshadows or glitters that I get. So these are the two that I have, classic shades. And some of the more expensive brands, if you buy the little refill pans, they are so much more affordable. So I wanna have a palette that I can just put refills into to save a little bit of money and save on packaging in the long run. I was gonna film a video, but I think I'm just gonna have to fit that in tomorrow. Today, I kinda wanna continue organizing. I try to give myself some grace on therapy day to not have to like film content just so I can process. So I'm gonna be doing some processing. I wanna work in my workbook a little bit, the self-compassion workbook and i then will probably need lunch by then so glad i got to organize all of this and the organizer should come in by four so i should be able to vlog that today i really hope they come in because i want to get this all organized in a unit and then i can like see everything that i have so when i'm doing hauls and trying new products i already know what makeup that i already own so i don't keep buying duplicates i got these clear containers on amazon and I'll put all the information down below, but I'm going to be using them. I got quite a few and they fit like this. Three fit in to each drawer and there's just like a hair where it doesn't fit a fourth. So I decided to just still go with three for each drawer and then I'm going to figure out a separate solution for like the empty space. But for now, at least I can get these in here and start organizing and then like work on this later.
I just got back from Sephora. I had to make a return. One of the eyeshadows I got, I think I had it in my last video or two. I opened one of my shadows and I got the wrong one. So I picked up the right one. This is the Starlet Powder in 15. And then I also picked up a Starlet Powder Diamond one in 107. So just really pretty pigments. I find pigments are the best like talc free options for eyeshadow if you want like a sparkly lid or anything. So I pick those up, but I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog. It is Friday, so I need to work and I need to edit. And then there's a weekend, so I'm gonna take the weekend off. Next week may look a little different for me. The past two nights I've actually gotten pretty sick, unfortunately. And I had to schedule an appointment with a gastroenterologist and I see them on Monday. So there is a potential that there will not be videos up next week, depending on how I'm feeling and all the appointments that I have coming up next week to figure out a health issue that I'm having, which is super unfortunate because I just want to keep putting out all the content. I have like so many video ideas all the time and it's just a matter of like sitting down and being able to film them and do the research for them. So there may not be videos next week, but you guys will see. Once I get my health issues sorted out though, it should be smooth sailing. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this vlog was a little bit random and kind of pieced together. I was just having a really tough week, honestly, with my health and trying to figure it all out. So hopefully that gets figured out soon and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.